You ready? 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 Good morning. Good morning. In accordance with the Minneapolis City Charter and relevant provisions of the laws of the State of Minnesota, this is the day fixed for the assembling of the newly installed City Council for its 2014 session. The City Council will be in order. The clerk will call the roll of members. Councilmember Reich. Here. Gordon. Here. Fry. Here. Barbara Johnson. Here. Yang. Here. Orsami. Here. Goodman. Present. Glidden. Here. Connell. Here. Bender. Here. Quincy. Here. Andrew Johnson. Here. Paul Masano. Here. There are 13 members present. Let the record reflect that a quorum is present for this meeting. Purpose of this first meeting is to organize the membership for the conduct of city business. This organizational meeting is convened pursuant to notice as required by law, which was published and posted on Tuesday, December 31st, 2013. The matters which must be transacted as part of this organizational meeting have been listed on the agenda. Printed copies of the agenda have been distributed to all members at the dais and copies also are available to the public. It is now in order for a motion to adopt the agenda as printed and distributed. May I have such a motion? Second. It's been moved and seconded to approve the agenda as printed and distributed. Is there any further discussion? Council Member Cano. Yes, I would like to motion uh, to amend the agenda to add a section for public comment. I think this is a pretty historical day for many of us, and I would really welcome uh, the family, friends, colleagues, and community members in the room to share uh, 15 minutes of your ideas, thoughts, dreams, and visions with us as we embark on this four-year journey. Second. It's been moved and seconded to amend the agenda to add a new section numbered three entitled public comment to provide a period of not to exceed 15 minutes during which time speakers may be recognized for the purposes of addressing the city council for periods of not to exceed three minutes per speaker or until the total time reserved for public comment has expired and to renumber the remaining agenda items accordingly. Is there discussion on that amendment? Council Member Barbara Johnson. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I would urge my colleagues to uh, vote against this uh, motion. Um, the City Council uh, has a standing rule that we um, do not have public testimony at our meetings, and this was not noticed as a public meeting, so it seems the people who have been invited uh, are the folks that perhaps could get into this 15-minute discussion, and I feel that if we have public comment, it should be truly open to the public. I personally have had uh, my constituents ask to come and speak to a city council meeting, the first city council meeting, and I told them to make sure that they to make sure uh, that they pay attention to this council meeting at which time we will appoint committee chairs that will deal with the subjects that people are concerned about and I would encourage anyone who would like to speak at, at uh, to the City Council to look and understand which committee their interest is going to be dealt with in and make a, an appointment with the chair of that committee and come to a, a, a meeting of that committee which is how we do business in this city. The other thing I want to say is we are going to have a priorities and uh, goal setting um, exercise as part of our new council. We do this every four years. And we welcome public comment uh, during that uh, goal setting time. Uh, I'm sure council members, if they, if they would wish, could set up public meetings in their community and ask for individuals to come and speak to them and give them their input about what they think the goals of the city should be for the next four years. So I, I would ask my colleagues to vote against this motion today. Councilmember Gordon on the question of the Kano Amendment. Uh, thank you, um, uh, Mr. Chair, I guess we call you, City Clerk. Mr. Okay. Clerk. Um, I, I appreciate that. And I also appreciate all the comments that Councilmember Johnson made. Um, I'm going to support the motion, though, because I think this is an exceptional meeting. It's an exceptional time. There's obviously people who want to speak a little bit, and uh, I think it would actually set a, a good tone for our first meeting to set aside 15 or even 30 minutes where we could take some uh, respectful comments uh, here in the chamber. So I'll be supporting it, uh, understanding that it is exceptional, that it is uh, that it is rare, but um, 
I think uh, if, if it doesn't pass, there will also be plenty of opportunity for voices to be heard. And I think we should make extra care then to set aside some time so that we can gather this input um, as a council. But today uh, seems like a, a good a day as any, and I'm not sure what harm it would do us. Council Member Glidden. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Um, I uh, also am going to vote no on this motion, and I just wanted to uh, give a signal to my colleagues about that. I really respect and honor that we have uh, this amount of engagement in our organizational meeting. This is something that is absolutely unprecedented. But if we're going to do public comment, I say let's let's do it right. Let, let's give notice to the public. Let's have an unlimited time for that comment, and let's make sure everyone can be involved. I am interested to hear what are the ideas of community members on how to get that comment that's going to influence our goal setting for the council and setting our priorities. And uh, that's where I would like to have that public comment and look forward to your ideas. Thank you. On the Cano Amendment, Council Member Cano. So, uh, dear colleagues, as many of you know, I come from a deep organizing background and an immigrant family that has had to fight every step of the way to get to where we are today. Um, I realize that this may be um, a, not a very typical move, um, and I think that through untypical moves, government can become more responsible and connected to the community members that we seek to represent. Um, because we know how much time and effort it has taken for folks to be here, because we know how cold it is, um, I do want to um, acknowledge that there might be folks here from that rally that might want to speak, but I also want to acknowledge that there's family members and community members here who also just want to wish us well, uh, celebrate with us uh, the fact that we have elected the first Somali uh, to, the, to the council, the first Hmong American to the council, and the first Latina to the council. Uh, so I would urge my colleagues to really th consider that as a unique opportunity for us to build goodwill with the community members and uh, to really allow our uh, own residents to help shape um, our direction in the next four years by allowing for, for a brief 15-minute comment. Thank you. Are there further comments on the Kano Amendment? The clerk would remind members that under the council's rules, any motion to suspend the rules would require a two-thirds vote. That's nine members. If there are no further comments, I will ask the clerk to call the roll on the question of whether or not to amend the agenda to include a new section titled public comment and to allow a period of not to exceed 15 minutes during which speakers would be available to address the council. Councilmember Reich. No. Gordon. Yes. Fry. Yes. Barbara Johnson. No. Yang. Yes. Warsami. No. Goodman. No. Blidden. No. Cano. Yes. Bender. Yes. Quincy. No. Andrew Johnson. Yes. Palmasano. Yes. There are seven ayes and six nays. That motion fails to achieve the two-thirds majority vote required for passage to suspend the rules to amend the agenda. Therefore, before us again, colleagues, is a motion to approve the agenda as it was distributed and printed at your desks. And I will call for the question on that by a voice vote. Those in favors of the motion to approve the agenda as printed and distributed, please say aye. 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 Those opposed, say no. That eyes have it, the agenda as printed and distributed has been adopted. Members, the first item of business is the election of a president of this body. Without objection, we will proceed to open the floor for nominations to the office of president. Are there any nominations? Council Member Quincy. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. I'd like to nominate Council Member Barbara Johnson for office of president. Council Member Quincy has nominated Barbara Johnson, a council member representing the fourth ward for the office of council president. Are there further nominations? Are there further nominations? Hearing no further nominations, I will entertain a motion to close the nominating period. Is there such a motion? The motion has been moved and seconded to close the period of nominations for the council president. Those in favor say aye. aye. Those opposed say no. The ayes have it. The period for nominating a member to council president is closed. Members, the vote will be conducted on the motion to elect Barbara Johnson, a council member from the fourth ward, to the office of council president. The clerk will call the roll. 
Councilmember Reich. Aye. Gordon. Aye. Fry. Aye. Barbara Johnson. Aye. Yang. Aye. Orsami. Aye. Goodman. Aye. Glidden. Aye. Cano. Aye. Bender. Aye. Quincy. Aye. Andrew Johnson. Aye. Paul Masano. Aye. There are 13 ayes and no nays. A majority of members having voted in the affirmative, that motion carries, and Councilmember Barbara Johnson is duly elected to the office of Council President. Congratulations, Madam President. Will you please assume the chair? Thank you, uh, Mr. Clerk, uh, and thank you to my colleagues for your support. Uh, uh, I promise to be a um, responsible and responsive council president. I view uh, my job as uh, number one, having you be the most successful council member uh, that you can be. And I'm sure all of us have listened to the voices that are here today, as well as our constituents during this long election cycle and to our new mayor's remarks today and know that we have a big job ahead of us and are anxious to go forward and work on the priorities that we establish as a city in conjunction with our residents. So thank you again very much. With that, um, the nominations for vice president of the city council uh, is in order. Is there a nomination? Okay, I'm sorry, I have, I have Councilmember Gordon. Was that you that said that, Councilmember Gordon? I'm sorry, oh, Councilmember Reich, okay. All right, all right, so we've got obviously a, a, a nomination and a second of Councilmember Elizabeth Glidden uh, for the position of Vice President of the City Council. Any discussion? Councilmember Gordon. Thank you, Madam President. I just wanted to uh, offer a few comments for, for those of you who follow this uh, this kind of thing closely, um, I was public uh, in my support for Councilmember Glidden for president uh, early on with the uh, the new mayor, uh, the change in the council. I was um, ex excited and hopeful that we could make a smooth transition to some new leadership in the council presidency as well and um, was supporting Councilmember Glidden because I felt she had the leadership qualities that we needed and also understood the issues well. Um, I think... Uh, Seeing her in the role of vice president um, is an outstanding compromise. I also want to extend and acknowledge um, the uh, work that uh, Councilmember Johnson put into putting together this organization um, when it became clear um, there was a divided council. Um, I think there was some uh, some division among us. I don't know exactly where what it was, but clearly there was some, some interest in a change there, and I think um, having a... a Councilmember Glidden serve as vice president was one of the first decisions that showed that there was a real interest in seeing how could we get some unity, how could we bring everyone together, and how could we take this diverse group of people, a majority who are new to the council, and develop an organization that everybody could support and everybody could be comfortable with. And I know that um, I offered particular input about my place in that organization, which I think all of us, uh, it was our responsibility to do that. Um, and I think we also advocated for one another about let's make sure everybody else finds a place where they fit in well with this organization. And um, I think that we found that, um, and this is a key part of it, um, having a, a Councilmember Johnson as president and Councilmember Glidden as vice president, um, it kind of sets that. And I believe um, once that was dis determined by the two of you, you actually took the lead in developing this organization and the committees and the committee membership and the chairs. And I really appreciated seeing you two work together. I think that bodes well um, for the next years as we move forward as a council. Any further discussion on the nomination for vice president? Councilmember Bender. We are very lucky to have a unified council today uh, bringing these two great leaders forward and I'm very excited to cast my vote for both of them today. Uh, any further discussion? 
Seeing none, clerk will call the roll on the nomination of Council Member Elizabeth Glidden to be Vice President of the City Council. Council Member Reich. Aye. Gordon. Aye. Fry. Aye. Yang. Aye. Worsami. Aye. Goodman. Aye. Glidden. Aye. Kano. Aye. Bender. Aye. Quincy. Aye. Andrew Johnson. Aye. Paul Masano. Aye. President Johnson. Aye. There are 13 ayes. That item carries. Congratulations. Thank you. Go ahead. Thank you, Council President Johnson. I just wanted to have a, a moment uh, to say first thank you to my colleagues for supporting me as the Vice President. I'm really honored to have your confidence. And I'm very excited to be part of the leadership team working together with Council President Johnson. I want to say thank you to you as well. I really appreciate that. Um, I also wanted to say thank you to the community um, for what I think has been a very unprecedented um, amount of engagement in thinking about the work of the City Council. And to me, that says that we have strong partners, not just in helping people get elected, but thinking about how does the work get done and wanting to influence how do we do our work, how do we see, continue to see what are the priorities of the community. And I think having the rally for racial equity here today at the same time when we had such a strong speech by our new mayor, council member, or excuse me, council member, uh, Mayor uh, Betsy Hodges that referenced the gaps in our community and our need to work work together as one community for racial equity. It was a beautiful speech, and I support it wholeheartedly. And I think from the perspective of a council member, uh, now the question is, how do we converge around this goal, which I do think was one shared by virtually every person who got elected this year. You saw it in their campaigns. Um, you saw it in what they talked about on the campaign trail. How do we converge around this goal, and how do we get the work done? Because I think you see up here 13 people who are fierce, 13 people who are committed uh, to working with their constituents, who see the urgency of these issues, and who also see we need to lead with compassion. And I'm excited to be part of a group uh, that reflects these values. Um, and I'm motivated to work with the community to achieve these goals. So thank you to everyone. Um, I'm excited to work together with my colleagues and with the community. Thank you. Next item of business before us is the election of other officers, uh, starting with the position of majority leader. Are there any nominations for the position of majority leader? I would move uh, Councilmember John Quincy to the position of majority leader. Vice President Glidden has moved uh, Councilmember Quincy's name uh, for majority leader. Are there any other nominations? Any other nominations? Seeing none, clerk will call the roll. Councilmember Reich. Aye. Gordon. Aye. Fry. Aye. Yang. Aye. Warsame. Aye. Goodman. Aye. Glidden. Aye. Kano. Aye. Bender. Aye. Quincy. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Palmisano. Aye. President Johnson. Aye. There are 13 ayes. Uh, Councilmember Quincy has been uh, unanimously uh, uh, elected majority leader. Congratulations. <laughs> Next is the election of a minority leader. Are there any nominations? Council I, Vice President. I would like to move Council Member Cam Gordon to the position of minority leader. Council Vice President has moved um, uh, Council Member Cam Gordon. Um, his name and nomination for minority leader. Any other nominations? Any other nominations? Seeing none, clerk will call the roll. Council Member Reich. Aye. Gordon. Aye. Fry. Aye. Yang. Aye. Warsame. Aye. Goodman. Aye. Glidden. Aye. Kano. Aye. Bender. Aye. Quincy. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Palmisano. Aye. President Johnson. Aye. There are 13 ayes. <laughs> Councilmember Gordon has been elected minority leader. I'm going to remark it's going to be hard to call Mayor Hodges, Mayor Hodges, and it's going to be hard not to answer to Council Member Johnson on the first four out. So, a few things to get used, used to. Uh, the next item on our agenda is the designation of the Council's standing policy committees, including the membership of each standing committee and the selection of a chair of each of those committees, the quorum for the committee, and the dates and times for regular meetings of each standing committee. You'll 
uh, you're being distributed a packet uh, that outlines uh, the proposal for establishing the council's standing committees, including the total number of members for each committee and its quorum, the membership and the chairs and vice chairs, as well as the proposed meeting dates and times within the council's regular two-week cycle. That proposal is before us. Is there any discussion on the proposed committee structure? Councilmember Glidden. Uh, just a moment, Madam Chair, to, to do a final review here. Yep, this was quite complicated, so. There's been a change. Uh, we still have a little bit of a glitch. Yeah, this, so I can move to amend that. I, th I thought I don't have that on mine. Let me see. Oh, here it is. This is a. Uh, Madam President? This here it is. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 Madam President? Yeah. Okay. Madam President? Gordon? I think we're right. Um, Councilmember Gordon. I think it might be helpful if we, um, if our attention was called to the revised sheet that came uh, out with the packet, yes. and that we uh, maybe somebody could just articulate the uh, one change that was okay. made. Perhaps the, the clerk or uh, Madam President, to because it's it's not clear. I think I found out what it is, but um, I'll let uh, maybe the, the the clerk inform us about what the difference is. Mr. Carl. Yep. Madam President, uh, so that you know, several pages in the prepared package had been corrected. You should have a loose page that is stamped revised on the corner. That replaces the page that lists the Committee of the Whole and the rest, the, essentially the second page of this resolution. And the change would be to the membership of the Health, Environment, and Community Engagement Committee as it's proposed. The membership would then include Gordon as chair, uh, Johnson, Andrew Johnson as Vice Chair, Fry, Glidden, Cano, and Bender. We made a change to the membership of Public Safety, Civil Rights, and Emergency Management. For the membership there, the chair is proposed to be Council Member Yang, Vice Chair Council Member Gordon, with the members being Council Members Reich, Barbara Johnson, Warsame, and Palmisano, replacing Andrew Johnson. Any further discussion? Further discussion? Councilmember Glidden, no? Uh, no, then I would uh, move approval of, what are we calling this, of the standing uh, resolution designating standing committees. Second. Any further discussion? It's been moved and seconded. Um, all in approval say aye. Aye. Uh, aye. Roll call? Oh, oh, roll call, sorry. Roll call. Councilmember Reich? Aye. Gordon? Aye. Fry? Aye. Yang? Aye. Warsame? Aye. Goodman? Aye. Glidden? Aye. Cano? Aye. Bender. Aye. Quincy. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Palmisano. Aye. President Johnson. Aye. There are 13 ayes. That report is adopted, that resolution. Uh, next item we have is the designation of council members to serve as the executive committee. And the executive committee is an independent committee established uh, by the charter. And its membership consists of the mayor, the council president, up to three council members chosen by the city council, provided that not all members may be of the same political party. And so my proposal for the designation of council members to serve on the executive committee is before you in the form of a resolution. And that is in the packet. Any discussion? Madam Chair. I would move approval of the resolution designating the members of the executive committee. Second. Councilmember Glidden has moved um, the resolution designating the membership of the executive committee. Any discussion? Seeing none, clerk will call the roll. Councilmember Reich. Aye. Gordon. Aye. Fry. Aye. Yang. Aye. Warsame. Aye. Goodman. Aye. Glidden. Aye. Cano. Aye. Bender. Aye. Quincy. Aye. Johnson. Aye. Palmisano. Aye. President Johnson. Aye. There are 13 ayes. 
Uh, the ayes have it, and the resolution is adopted, and Council Members Wright, Gordon, Glidden, uh, and myself are designated as members of the Executive Committee. Next item we have is the designation of members to serve on the Audit Committee. The Audit Committee is an independent committee established under the Ch uh, Code of Ordinances. Uh, membership, uh, according to that provision of the Code, uh, includes the Chair of the Ways and Means Committee, two council members designated by the council president, one external member designated by the mayor, and one external member designated by the Board of Commissioners of the Minneapolis Park Board. Uh, the appointment of the three external members will be a matter submitted at a future meeting. In the meantime, as provided by the ordinance, the Chair of the Standing Committee on Ways and Means, Council Member Quincy, will be an ex officio member of the Audit Committee and as president, I am appointing Council Member Palmasano as chair of the Audit Committee and Council Member Cano as the second member of the Audit Committee. Any further discussion on that, on my motion? Okay, we need no firmer, further council action on that. Now we've disposed of the designation of the standing committees as well as the independent executive and audit committees. The next item of business is the formal confirmation of the 2014 calendar of regular meetings for the council and its standing committees, which was previously adopted this past December. Um, we have made some changes because of the revised committee structure and um, we have a, a revised proposal in front of you. Uh, it's in your packets that substitutes the previous, uh, substitu substitutes for the previously adopted calendar. And this new calendar reflects the new committee structure. Uh, it shows that the first two-week meeting cycle uh, will begin next Monday, January 13th, uh, giving all committee chairs uh, the remainder of this week to meet with staff and their new members to organize their committees for the uh, coming year. Any discussion on the proposed substitute for the calendar? Seeing none, voice vote. Uh, all in approval say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Uh, we have adopted the 2014 calendar as substituted. Next item of business is the adoption of the Council's Rules of Order. A resolution has been distributed um, that adopts the Council's Rules of Order. It's in our packet. Yeah. Someone want to move the rules of order? Council Vice President. Uh, yes, I will um, move approval of the rules, and I just wanted to note from my colleague that this is actually an item that will need to have some amendment uh, following this meeting to reflect some of the changes that we've made in our committee structure and other details. And so uh, as a formality, we need to approve this today, but we will be uh, moving some revisions sometime in the, sh in the soon to come future. Madam President, I'd like to second that motion. Uh, Council Member Glidden has moved uh, the rules report, and Council Member, I'm sorry. Is that what you're looking for? Yep. No, no, something else got pointed out to me. Um, and Council Member Johnson has seconded uh, any discussion on that resolution. Seeing none, uh, all in approval say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Uh, Mr. Clerk, Council Member uh, Goodman has pointed out to me that the uh, Claims Committee was not on the uh, Standing Committees. Madam President, the Claims Committee was the first listed alphabetically on the first page of resolution. It says Council Organization Item Number 7 in your packets. There is a graph midway that shows all of the committee's claims is first showing six members oh, okay. of Quorum of Four, and the membership is shown at bottom right of page bottom one. Of page. Okay, great, great. Madam Chair, if I might also point yes. out the resolution adopted just now on the rules directs the clerk to make those uh, corrections that Vice President Glidden mentioned. We'll be needing to convene a meeting of the Rules Committee, obviously, to bring forward that recommendation to full council. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So we adopted the rules of order. Yes. Right? Yeah, kind of voice flip. Okay. Uh, next, we have uh, the adoption of a resolution establishing the lines of succession to the Office of Mayor and Council President as required pursuant to Chapter 3, uh, Section 2 of the City Charter. And that proposed 
line of succession is in front of you. Council organization number 12. And I will, I will just read this for folks. Um, the first is the council president, second council vice president, chair of committee of the whole, and chair of the intergovernmental relations committee, council member Glidden. The majority, number three, is the majority leader and chair of the Ways and Means Committee, Councilmember Quincy. And number four is the chair of the Community Development Regulatory Services Committee, Councilmember Goodman. Number five, the chair of the Transportation Public Works Committee, uh, uh, Councilmember Reich. Number six, the chair of the Health, Energy, and Community Engagement Committee, Councilmember Gordon. And number seven, the chair of the Public Safety, Civil Rights, and Emergency Management Committee, Councilmember Yang. And the chair of the Zoning and Planning Committee, Councilmember Bender, is number eight. So on that succession plan, any discussion? Seeing none, all in approval say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. The next item is uh, the appointment of council members to serve as members of various boards, commissions, and other organizations as representatives on behalf of the City of Minneapolis. We have a draft resolution uh, that is outlines uh, the proposed assignments of council members to various boards and commissions. Uh, any discussion on that motion? Madam President. Mr. Carl. With apologies. Again, this is one of the matters that was revised, so you should find in your packet a page stamped revised. revised. That was different from what had previously been distributed. Mm -hmm. The membership on a few of these appointments had changed on the second page of the resolution for the rail policy group, council member Bender was added as a member. For the St. Anthony Falls Heritage Board, council member Kano was removed. Council member Warsame takes the seat. We also added the target center review team, which has council members Goodman and Barbara Johnson as members. Any further discussion on the succession plan? I'm sorry, on the um, boards and commissions. Uh, outside boards and commissions. And I might add that our resolution um, incurred, or excuse me, allows for, again, changes um, to be uh, made. Um, when we do this, and, and I will just tell folks, this is a page and a page of assignments that our colleagues um, are assigned to across many different boards and commissions across the community, um, some even at the state level. and to try and compile all of these in an orderly way is not always easy, and so we, we may have missed some, which we can uh, add later. But uh, people do, do great work, and not just at the city council, but in, in involvement across the community. So on the appointment of board, uh, council members to boards and commissions, all in approval say aye. 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 Opposed? That carries. Next, we have the referral of the subject matter of an ordinance, um, and it's pretty much an operational matter. It's the subject matter of an ordinance uh, related to wages and salaries to the Ways and Means Committee. And that draft motion is, is um, before you also. Um, this is a pretty pro forma um, uh, motion that we make at the beginning of every organizational meeting. The matter is referred to the Ways and Means uh, Budget Committee. Any discussion on that? Ordinance referral. Seeing none, all in approval say aye. 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 Opposed, that carries. Next we have a referral again, another, um, I don't want to say perfunctory, but um, um, standard operating procedure. Subject matter of an ordinance to amend the code related to traffic control to the Transportation and Public Works Committee. And the draft motion is uh, in your packet. Would someone offer that uh, motion? Any Second. discussion? Seeing none, uh, all in approval say aye. 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 Opposed, that carries. Next item is the referral of a subject matter of an ordinance for the zoning code. Uh, third and final referral, um, the subject matter of an ordinance amending the code relating to zoning districts and maps to the zoning and planning committee. And that draft motion is in, in front of you. Would someone like to offer that motion? So moved. Second. Been moved and seconded. Any discussion? Seeing none, all in approval say aye. 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 Opposed, that carries. And with that, um, 
We've completed the business of the organizational meeting of the City Council. Any further business to come before the City Council today? All right, seeing none, uh, hearing none, thank you to all my colleagues, and uh, I look forward to working to each, work, working with each and every one of you. And I think, um, as we have heard today, we have many important issues that are going to come before the City Council, and I know that everyone will do their best to deal with the uh, issues that we're presented with and that we come up with in a thoughtful and um, experienced way, bringing your um, life experiences to the work that you do. So thank you very much, and we are adjourned.